Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the Python and Revit. This tutorial not for the professional in coding, this is tutorial mostly for the beginners, but uh, the beginners who already know the syntaxes. Without the syntaxes, uh, nothing to do in Revit, nothing to do in Python, so you should uh, first start learning some beginning things in Python. Okay. Uh, let's say you already know the syntaxes and the first question you don't know what to do uh, How to uh, for example use your knowledge in Revit. This is a tutorial for you I will show you the some ideas I will show you the some resources where you can find the really main thing where you can use your knowledge and where you can improve your knowledge So if you are ready for this tutorial, let's get started The first of what we are looking for any program when we want to learn it, the official documentation. And if Revit have it, we can go to the really useful website and find there all information about the all Revit tools. There you will find all functions that Revit have on the board. Also you will find there a lot of the information about the each function such as so what the type of the data you need, samples of the code and some tips. As you can see, we also have the different samples on different program languages. There you will find not will find the Python, but you will find the logic of the function, methods and classes which is have in Revit. We have documentation, but what if you want to work already in Revit and you want to uh, see the methods how it's working in uh, real life in I mean in Revit how it's working for the Revit uh, For this uh, we have really great tool. This is calling the lookup uh, You can find below the video you will find the link to the lookup But when you will install it uh, you will find a nice feature for example I have here the roof Let's say I will select the roof and the roof have the area as you can see it here but as you understand, it's uh, inside in Revit, it's not just area of the some element. We somehow should uh, get this element, but how you understand which is type of the method you should take for, to get this area. For that one, we have the lookup. So I already installed it. I'm going to the edits and here the lookup. I will just open it. I just want to show you this uh, fast how it's working. And uh, for example, I will uh, check the, my current selection. Uh, it, it means I will take this the roof and I want to see what's going on inside. Here we now get all information of this element. Uh, not all information what we have here for the user. This all information not for user. This is for all information for the um, developer. And as you can see here, we have like ID of the element, uh, is this uh, true or false the object, and you will find here a lot of the information. But as I said, what if we want to get the area? As you can see, we cannot find the area here. But if you will go inside to the parameters, here you will go inside to the parameters, you also not will find the area here. But we will find the, the methods calling as value string. And as you can see, here is our area and as you can see it here this small thing but as you understand it will really help you because here you can find just get the element and uh, by lookup you really un easily understand how the methods working with your model elements so try it and it really will help you when you want to create your own code When I'm talking about the lookup, I should mention uh, one of the developers of it, Jeremy Temic, has uh, their own blog where he introduced all the things around the code in Revit. Maybe it not will be useful at the beginning, but in the end it will help you a lot. He's trying to share all the things and ideas, so it maybe helps when you are really stuck and uh, also it can be give you some ideas. Jeremy posted a lot of the things uh, that he find around the Revit API. This is uh, your second bookmark after the 
Revit API website. The second main block which is you should save it, this is official website of the Autodesk community. Do not forget, if someone they asking to help, the solution uh, can be useful also for you. One more block I should mention, this is AC dev block. There are not so many information about the Revit, but there you will find also the some samples of the coding around the AC industry. This is will help you a lot with your journey. When we are talking about the Python, the first thing how to use the Python code in Revit. For that one you will find the PyRevit. You will find a lot of the uh, around the internet how to install, I mean tutorials, how to install the PyRevit. Also I have the one my own tutorial about the PyRevit, so just uh, go ahead, type the PyRevit in the YouTube and you will see how to install it. But I not will mention on about the Python PyRevit right now. Uh, you just should know only the one thing, all this code it's based on the Python, that's why it's calling the PyRevit. And that will help us a lot. The first thing what I wanna mention, uh, for example, here we have a lot of different tools. For example, how to calculate, how to save, how to analysis. It can help when you're working with your own code. Because first your questions, for example, how I can, for example, select element. And let's see, here we have, for example, pick, or we have some selection. And uh, you wanna know the, how you should write the code to the select some element. Uh, you need only the one thing. For example, here I have the isolate. Uh, to isolate element, I need select it. For example, uh, we just hold the Alt key and click on the left mouse button, and you will go directly inside to the PyRevit. And you can find here what you can find here the script, script of the isolation. And if you will open the script, let me I will open the script, right click, I have for that one uh, Notepad++ and what we have here, as you can see, we have the Python code. If you are learning the Python, if you want to understand how it works, this is a great sample how you should, uh, for example, the right code and, for example, how to select element. As you can see here, if selected, blah, 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 and you can see it here. So, this is will be nice for you, because uh, by this way you will uh, learn by practice. You have really great uh, tools, which is, uh, cover all the, your ideas. Start from the small ideas, but if it's not enough, let's say this is not enough, you can go to the PyRabbit, you can go after that uh, to the extensions, and you can download some free extensions. The extensions, I mean, uh, like the code from the other people. And as you can see here, we have a lot of different extensions, you can install it, I already have it, for example, by Revit Plus, we have like, as you can see here, so more, some more extensions, and you can do also the same thing, for example, select mirror uh, doors, as I said before, you wanna select some elements and you wanna learn how. Here another example, just hold again Alt key and select left uh, bottom mouse and again the folder will be, new folder will be open as you can see and right click on again on this code and you can go inside. As you can see this is code really small and you will see how you can select the elements, really simple. So uh, this is I think the for, already for the advanced user uh, who already know how to work in Python but they don't know still how the, uh, they knowledge uh, to put inside to the Revit. By Revit, this is your solution. But what if you are just a beginner or not beginner, you don't wanna just use the PyRevit, you wanna use, for example, Dynamo. Dynamo have also the nice thing which is can uh, give you the chance more faster than just uh, learning the Python, how Python working with the Revit. You can use in the middle the Dynamo. For example, you typing the code on the Python, you transferring into the Dynamo and Dynamo to the Revit. It somehow will can uh, make your code more simple because some of the part of the code, you can use Dynamo for that. 
For example, you are inside the Dynamo, you, you know how to use that uh, because we have inside the Dynamo, as you, can, as you remember, the Python script. So this is Python script, as you can see. And inside of this Python script, you can uh, write your Python code. This is not a big problem. But uh, again, where we can get the samples and we can use the add-ins. Uh, I not will introduce how to install the packages, you just go to the insert and select the packages and you can find a lot of the packages here. But believe me, all the packages what I have it right now, this is will be like more than enough to learn how it's working. For example, I will use the clockwork, I will use the math and I used some of the formulas. Angle for example, and I will put it here, I wanna use this code. And as you can see inside of this uh, node we have a lot of the things. Let me I will double click on that and as you can see we have here the, um, as you can see, uh, input information, some simple the code, this is not a python but simple the code, inside we have the scope if, if you will go there we have some a lot of the if, but this is not that it's not all, we have also the python code, if you will write like this python, you will find here a lot of the uh, clockworks nodes based on the python. We can go inside, you will see how the python working inside of this code. So you already have all the tools, you just need to go inside of that, you just need to understand how it's working, take this knowledge and uh, use in your idea. Here the example how you can do that. Uh, you will find a lot of the different uh, uh, the nodes based on the Python. Just use it, open it, learn it and uh, try to um, recreate or create your own Python code. Try your code without any other things. So this is much simple because you only need to understand how uh, select the element because you can um, making like a part of this based on Dynamo, part of this based on the Python script. This is a really great solution. If I started talking about the PyRevit, I should mention the PyRevit YouTube channel. There you will find all tutorials based on the Python and by PyRevit. This is a killer tool plus mega channel which is, will help you achieve result in short time. I should mention also one more YouTuber and this is Bim Guru and his video sets about the Python. I think everyone should check it because uh, he introduced information about the Revit and Python very intelligent like a good teacher and lecturer. If you know good YouTube channels about the Python and Revit, leave names in the comments. It may help a lot for the community. And the last thing, this is a community. If you are stuck in code and you don't know what to do, Stack Overflow will help you a lot. There is not only about the Python or Revit, there is all IT community. Try to ask the community and they will help you. But before you will ask the helps, try to find information on the internet. Only when you learn how to fix your problem, you gain your knowledge, whatever you do.